recall what happened last um, night? You know, actually, I worked last night, so Jake said the horses for me and everything was fine. We went to bed about 11. My dad went to bed about midnight. Um, our neighbors called 911, but what we didn't know, which I feel like is really important for people to know, and maybe other people know it, if you call 911 from a cell phone, it doesn't work appropriately. Well, we don't even have a landline. Um, so everybody would use a cell phone. Um, but there was five horses in the barn. Uh, my goat and a cat. What kind of horses? Um, I do a lot of rescues and off-the-track thoroughbreds. And I had two off-the-track thorough, three off-the-track thoroughbreds. Um, a halflinger and a um, warm blood. Nothing was safe from here. I have two horses that are boarded at a barn. I actually have two horses that are on loan to my friends um, that are babysitting their horses. I, I have a lot of horses, but I would say that I don't, I don't even want to call them my most important horses, but my most skilled horses, my most valuable horses are in this barn. So I don't even, I mean like that thing right there that had my wraps in it. I mean, my one horse was wearing like a $500 blanket. <laughs> I mean, I have, it's just, you know, two of the horses were going to be 4-H projects for kids this year. Um, the one horse has been a 4-H project for several different kids. He's kind of the go-to guy if they don't have anything. Yeah, I can give you their names, yeah. Um, it's Vino and Astro. All of our horses are usually named after candy. So Vino and Astro um, Royal was entered in a, um, a trainer competition this fall. He was only three, so we haven't had him that long, but we were really excited about going to Kentucky. Um, Nitro and the new horse's name was Rain. She's only been here like a week and a half. So. And the goat was Anderson, and we just gave the cat. Trumbull the only one here? No, there was Trumbull, like four or five Trumbull came, Grove came, Morgan Hose came. Now, the call was put in at 107, and then Trumbull showed us their papers, and they didn't get the call until 122, and they so didn't get here until 133. Because at first they thought it was Trumbull County, and we're Trumbull Township. Yeah, so, it was, so, I mean, when they got here, it was all it was all done. Uh, basically, the only thing they did was put out the fire on my tire on my truck. So you have any idea what caused the fire? Jeez, I mean, they said it could be anything. I don't, you talked to the fire chief more than I did. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they don't have any idea. That, you must have had heat in there. I did not no. have heat in there. Um, I, had, I mean, I had like a fence charger. And They're almost considering that as a fence charger. Because that part of the barn was in flames more, and there's no like, stuff in there. When, when the whole barn was engulfed in flames, that side, this side was less engulfed, I guess. I don't know how you said it. The wall wasn't there. I'll never be able to replace my horses. I cannot believe the amount of support and messages and text messages and that. Yeah, I mean, my phone has been non-stop with people. If you need anything, I love you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think like 300 people commented on my Facebook post. I just, I knew, I knew people already knew about it. It's a small community. And I, think, I, wanna, I, I put a lot of stuff on Facebook, so I wanted to go ahead and just put it on there so everybody knew exactly what happened and what was lost.